In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use a hardware write blocker. Obviously, uh, you're taking this class online, so you don't have access to this. Uh, if you ever want to come in and see a demonstration of this, uh, which actually I'm giving you a demonstration right now of how this works, but you can come in and we can set it up and run through it if you like, if we get a group of students to do that. But in the interim, uh, when you're doing this for your uh, assignments, you're using software write blocking is that we're using Linux and then we're turning off auto mount which means that there shouldn't be any writes to our evidentiary device and it works however in real life when we're uh, talking about using uh, hard drives in um, pretty much any type of media you'll want to use a hardware write blocker and that's what this is right here it's an ultra dock uh, version 5 by Weeby Tech. so what I'll do is, is I'll walk you through how to use this. Okay, so the pieces of the puzzle is that we have our power supply here. We've got all these cords wrapped up, okay. So we have our power supply, we have our connector, that goes to our um, evidentiary machine. Okay, so it's a USB. We have a, this is a SATA hard drive, 80 gigabyte. And we're going to be connecting uh, this to the um, SATA connection here. And then this goes to the Ultra Dock. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. Of course, one of the things you want to make note of is the information on the hard drive, the hard drive size, the type of connections that are used, there's a serial number, all those things are important so you can uh, work with your chain of custody form so you make sure that you're working with the correct drive and you can show that it's been handled in an appropriate manner. Okay. Also, on the Ultra Dock, if you look on the back, it's always a good idea to write down not only the fact that it's a forensic Ultra Dot version 5, but also there's a uh, serial number and a model number on the back. Okay? Alright, so the first thing we want to do is that we can connect the SATA connection right here to the hard drive. You can see like this. Make sure that's firmly put in. And there's a forcing function so it can only fit one way so you know that it's doing correctly. And then on the back here is the, um, where did it go? And this right here is for the power supply. And that goes with the, the pin up, as you can see here. So that's connected. And then you see here it says the SATA drive, which the connection right here. You're going to put it here. So we have that connected. Then we're going to connect the USB to the computer, the USB drive. So on the back here, we're going to connect this. this and then I know you can't see this but I'm going to need to plug this into my computer down here there we go so that's all connected and finally we're going to connect the power supply which is this right here to the ultra dock And you'll see that this is right here. So we connect that. And then we can plug it in. And notice that the power says in. 
the green light is on. Notice that there's a switch down here that has a zero and a one. Right now it's on zero, which means that it's off. But as soon as we turn that on, I can hear the hard drive powering up. And you'll see that it's got some um, indicator lights over here. What you'll want to see is it there's a some arrows right here, one of which is showing that the right two is being blocked. Essentially what this does is it, it stops uh, interrupt 13, which deals with writing if you've had my operating systems class. So it keeps from anything from being written to the hard drive. And then there's a, a, an indicator light that's below that, which uh, actually two below that, which indicates whether it's writing or not. So what I'm going to do is open up FTK Imager.